Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and in this series, we're working our way through a book called A Thousand One Games You Must Play Before You Die. And as you can tell by this riveting introduction, we are going to be playing Super Punch Out. Looks like Super Punch U7, actually. Um, this is a Super Nintendo classic. Um, I'm going to let the. Let, let's. Oh. That looks like Mike Tyson, actually. I don't think it is. This is the computer showing us how to play. Um, now, you guys may be thinking, Super Punch-Out, what do you do when you haven't even played the original Punch-Out on Nintendo? Um, well, I have a bit of news for you guys. Guess what? The original Punch-Out on Nintendo actually wasn't even the original Punch-Out game. Um, the original Punch-Out on Nintendo was actually a port of an arcade game called Punch-Out by Nintendo. And this is also a similar... Uh, it is similar in that this is also a port of the um, arcade game. Uh, people actually consider this a more accurate port of the arcade game. Um, so yeah, in a way, you know, I'm not really skipping a game here. Although, you know what, let's be real, I kind of am. I mean, mo most people know about the Nintendo. Okay, we're going to skip ahead here. Most people know about the Nintendo game. Very few people know about the arcade game, or fewer do. I, or at least I didn't. I don't know. Maybe you guys do. Maybe I'm wrong here. Um... The real reason that I'm not playing the Nintendo game first is that it isn't in the book! Can you believe that? Mike Tyson's punch-out for the NES is not in the book. What's going on here? Start? Oh, okay. That was weird. It wasn't letting me, me switch um, the menu there. Okay, we're gonna do J, A... We're gonna yell our name. J! Is there an exclamation point? Yeah, there is. <laughs> Let's put three. We're really serious. <laughs> You have to say my name with enthusiasm. It's not J. It's J! Um, championship mode. I am a champion, so let's totally go with that. But I'm gonna play in the minor circuits because uh, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a punch out aficionado. Oh god. Gabby J. Wait, I'm fighting a guy named Gabby J? This guy looks like he should be in a geriatric home. He should not be boxing. Let me win. I've lost so many times I've forgotten what winning feels like. And he wants a pity win. Oh, man. This is like boxing your grandpa. Dear God. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel kind of bad here. Just beating on this guy. So the controls are pretty simple. You have a button for left punch, right punch, and you can um, punch people in the face. Um, you can also duck dive dip and dodge um and, and yeah oh uh one of the things that made punch out so great even on the nes is that it was a, a a very a very tightly controlled uh game about you know just kind of learning patterns right you you really are supposed to learn patterns here and that's how you beat these guys what how did he just get a whole bunch of health there Oh. I'm like losing to this guy. I isn't this pathetic, guys? If you're really good at punch out, you're probably watching this. Like, how are you losing to Gammy J? The guy needs to to, you know, take a nap in the middle of the day just so he's up for his boxing match by the end of the day. Oh, I use <laughs> Well, hopefully uh, we can see how how this is going to end up going. Um got to work on my my reflexes here. Oh. Suck it. Okay. Um, so we are playing as Little Mac. Those of you who are familiar with the NES game, which probably more of you from, are familiar with that than this. Oh, there you go, Gammy. Go back to Grandma. Tell her Little Mac sent ya. Pops. This seems to be working out for us. So we'll just have to continue dodging his shots and punching him here. Um, but this is Little Mac from the NES. He is, I think, bigger in this than he was in the Nintendo game. I feel like 
Oops. He's been eating his veggies or something. Because definitely in the NES game, he really was tiny. He was a little Mac. Uh, which I always kind of liked. I like the fact that they made him so small. Oh, God. Is this painful to watch if you're good at Punch-Out? I mean, this is... I'm not good at Punch-Out, but I, even I can tell this is embarrassing. An old man is beating me. A man who begged me to let him win is kicking my butt. Just gonna keep doing this. Oh! Oh! You better not get health, buddy. You better not get health. Oh, damn it. One of the best parts of the original NES uh, Punch-Out was between matches, having your like trainer guy uh, make you run while he rode the bike. You guys remember that? It's sort of like an homage to, uh... Oh, crap. To Rocky. Is that TKO? <laughs> TKO on the first boxer. And his victory chant is yay. Oh my god. And he's French. And he weighs 110 pounds. I like winning. Keeps keep challenging me. It's good for my ego. You son of a bee. Okay. Oh, you dork. You're gonna get it now, buddy. I favor the left, but I'm willing to give you some of the right. <laughs> What's happening to him right now? Okay, fine. I, like, I'm all, I'm all business the time around. I'm like, you think you have anything that can compare to me? <laughs> He's not getting up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing that always disturbed me about boxing is that, like, it's kind of disturbing when you hit that guy down and he's just lying in the corner completely motionless. You know, like in any other sport, if an athlete was just kind of lying motionless on the field, you'd be very concerned. You're like, oh my god, he's not getting up. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh... In boxing, you kind of aim for that situation, so... Yeah, okay, did I redeem myself right there? Yeah, he kicked my butt the first time around, but did you see me dominate him right there? Yeah, that's a new record. I kicked Gabby J in his old behind. Go back to Gammy, Gabby. Bear hugger. Ooh, a Canadian, a fellow Canuck. Watch out, I'm a killer. I'm the bear hugger. Yeah, sounds like most Canadians I know. That's not stereotypical at all. Whoa. Looks like most Canadians, too. We're not big on shirts, but we do love our suspenders and beards. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to work on timing with this guy. Ugh, wow. <laughs> I guess there's some power in Canada after all. Um, so, what? Okay, you can't punch him in the belly. He just finds that funny. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh! The oh my god. Oh my god, okay, clearly... I need to work on my patterns here. There we go. Oh, uh, that one you gotta go down. Damn it. How accurate do you think this is for, like, real boxing? Do you think, like, a real boxer would play this game and be like, yeah, man, this is, like, totally what we do? Um, or do you think it's, like, a real boxer would watch this and be like, yeah, this is a joke. Like, this has nothing to do with boxing. Like, is it semi-accurate or not accurate at all, I wonder? There you go. Go back to your Canadian gods and tell them Little Max sent you. Okay, I was thinking about this, but I think that... Um, oh, no. Ugh. Man, it's really hard to talk in this game because something is constantly happening. TKO again. Oh, you do your little Canada dance. 
That's our national dance, by the way, guys. A little two-step we call Canada's Pride. I like how he's just from Canada, generically. Is he from BC, Ontario, Quebec, Saskatchewan? Like, where in Canada? Canada's a big place. Uh, in case you don't know, I think it actually has more landmass than America. So, that would be like just having some dude and saying he's American. There's a lot of places in America you could be from, you know? Oh. There we go. We're learning. We're learning how to beat Canada. The old one, two. I wonder where Little Mac is from. He feels like New... I would say New York. What do you guys think? New York? I, I think I'm thinking New York just because of, like, Rocky and the training montage and stuff. Although, where was Rocky from? I never really saw the Rocky movies. Oof. They were kind of not of my generation. Okay, come on, you jerk. This guy actually kind of looks like my uncle, whom I once dominated in a uh, boxing game. It was actually pretty funny. It was a game that... Uh, we had on the Super Nintendo that we didn't play very often. Um, and it was a game like this where if you throw too many punches in a row, you kind of get tuckered out and so on. Um, ah, he dodged my super punch. There you go. Uh, anyway, with my uncle, who this guy kind of looks like, um, it was a game that we had played... Um, both played a bit, and it was kind of like this. Oops. And, uh, neither of us were too good at it, but one time we sat down together, and I was like, let's play this game, and he was like, okay. And literally, remember the last match where I just dominated Gabby J there? That was what it was like fighting against my uncle that one time. And he was just like blown away and so was i because i mean like i'm not necessarily that good at these boxing games but he was like standing up he's like what the hell he's like screaming at the screen he was like block block but every time he tried to block i would hit him in the gut or the face it was actually really really funny and i just destroyed him in the same way i destroyed gabby J. there it took like two seconds and after that my uncle didn't really play boxing games with me uh anymore so, I guess be careful how much you win by when you're playing with friends and family if you totally dominate people. Jay is number six. Um, they may not want to play with you again. The Piston Hurricane. This guy's from Cuba. Can you ride out the storm or be caught in my hurricane rush? Guess we will find out. My MO seems to be. He looks sad. My MO seems to be that you will defeat me easily the first time around. Out, out. But I will defeat you in subsequent rounds. There we go. You know, something else I thought about with regard to Little Mac is I think McDonald's missed out on the biggest um, marketing opportunity in their... Well, not, not the biggest. Oh, my God. I, I feel like this guy... Holy crap, stop throwing punches, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> he Gabby Jade me. I was Gabby Jade in that scenario. Um, but yeah, so, okay, maybe McDonald's didn't miss out on the biggest marketing opportunity ever, but Little Mac. Little Mac in the 80s and 90s. Do you see the association I'm making here? Uh, something called a Big Mac? Um, you know, I always thought McDonald's should have had a combo for kids that came out called the Little Mac. And it could have been, like, Nintendo boxing themed. Just try not to die, dude. This guy's stuff. Oh, God. Oh, how are you supposed to... Jesus. Um, they should have had a Little Mac combo. It totally would have sold. They could still do it, actually, you know. They just need to wait for Nintendo to release another uh, Punch-Out. Which, who knows when Nintendo will do that. Because uh, they released a Wii one a while back. But, yeah... You, you guys could see it, right? Like a Little Mac uh, combo for kids. It's like half a Big Mac. That's his thing. And, uh... Oh, Jesus. And you have, like, Nintendo toys or something. You have, like, Little Mac figurines. It would, it would that'd be awesome cross-promotion. I should work for McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Looked like my teeth flew out, but it was that stupid uh, bite guard. Jeez. Turns out they know how to box something fierce in Cuba. 
Um, I think we have definitely reached the limit of my boxing knowledge. Because when he just... He did have a hurricane of punches. And when those came, I really didn't know what to do. Only 25. Nice. I thought the first couple matches would be a little easier. I knew this game was all about patterns, but I didn't realize, like how intensely you had to like know these patterns. I just keep doing this. Oh, he got me. Oh, I, I should be doing body punches. This guy's blocking his face, but not his body. Uh, 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 no, stop hitting me. <laughs> oh God, how do you, how do you dodge these things? Oh. Oh man, he Gabby Jade me again. <laughs> oh man, super punch out. Maybe I should have started with the original punch out. I mean, it's not in the book, so I would have had to play it for my off the book series. And you know what? I still may. Hell, I may play it before this video comes out. You know what's funny is when I make these videos, they're kind of like little mini time capsules because. I make the video and I talk about things and I kind of have a rough idea in my head of what when I'm going to release this video because um, I usually make videos a little bit in advance and stuff. But I mean plans always change. So the Jay who is talking to you in this video right now is not the one who ultimately is going to record later videos and upload this video and stuff. So I don't really know what future Jay is going to do in terms of is he going to play Punch Out or not. Chances are you're not going to see Punch Out. Um, played before this this one here, but as I say this is really a port of the arcade game um, And so was the first one so in a way they're not really sequels um, Although in a much more Practical way they definitely are sequels to each other Back in the this comes from back in the day when like every game on the Super Nintendo was like super something Super Contra, Super Castlevania, Super Punch-Out I mean Mario was super on the NES you know, and then when the N64 came out, everything was 64. Mario 64, Superman 64. I mean, those are the only two to come to mind. I'm sure there's more. Um, they don't really do that with consoles anymore. Jay! Don't retire. Try again. Yeah, let's try. Um, oh, I have to start all over? Jeez. Oh, I can continue. Continue with Jay. Championship. Minor circuit still. I'm not up to the major leagues yet. Oh. Fighting Gabby J? Okay, we'll do one more round of this. And maybe we'll try one of the uh, the more championship uh, leagues. But yeah, it's like when the PlayStation came out. It's not like every game was like, um, you know, play or station themed. It was just, it was what it was. Um, they, they didn't put like... In the same way they put Super on every Super Nintendo game, they didn't do that for the PlayStation. And, you know, they they don't really do that anymore, even for Nintendo games. It's not like... Well, I mean, Nintendo tried to put Wii at the end of, you know, Mario and stuff for the Wii. Yay. Um, but most developers didn't fall for that. They weren't putting Wii on uh, all their games. So, yeah. I don't know what it would take. I mean, you had the Xbox 360, but people weren't putting 360 on all their games. What would it take for people to go back to that? I don't know. I think it's kind of a, a convention that's definitely just run its course. Oh, jeez. Come here, Grandpa. I'm gonna send you back to the old folks' home. You better have dental. You're gonna need it. I wish I knew how to use that super. I feel like... I'm just really losing out because of that. Oh, jeez. Gabby! One, two, fight! Okay, let's go with the assumption that this this is a remake to, to Punch-Out, and I've skipped Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. What do you guys think of, like, uh, remakes and, and reboots and stuff? Like, if you had never played Punch-Out before, let's say you've never played it before, um, do you think that you should go back and play the original game before you play its sequels? Or do you think, like, if this game is really a perfect rendition of Punch-Out, 
it does everything the original does and more, maybe you would argue that there's no point in playing the original, just play the better version. I mean, I guess the case could be made for Contra 3, which I played a little while back. Um, I don't know how long ago, because this video isn't out yet. <laughs> Again, that's a problem for future Jay. But I played uh, Contra 3. Um, and if you look at Contra 3, it has a lot of gameplay elements that come from Contra 1 and Super C, the first two Contra games. Now, if, if you were a Contra purist, you would say, you know, you have to go back first and play the original Contra and then Super C. You can't just jump into Contra 3. Um, if you're talking to someone who's never seen Contra before. But, you know, from, a, from another point of view, you could say that, really, um... If you want the funnest Contra experience out there, just go and play Contra 3 because it's the most sort of action-packed and has the best controls and so on. So, yeah, what do you guys think of that? When it comes to games and remakes and sequels and stuff, do you think it's best just to go with the best version of something? Oops. Or do you think it's better to um, start at the beginning and kind of work your way up? I mean, I guess you could make a similar argument. People were making arguments for um, Star Wars, the new Star Wars that came out. I know a handful of people, believe it or not, who've never seen any Star Wars movies before. And they were going to see the new movie and they were wondering, should I go and see the originals? Or should I watch them at home before I go to the theater to see this new movie? And it's kind of a toss up. It really depends on the person. For some people who are big sci-fi fans, I was like, well, of course you gotta go watch the original. But for others who are more casual, um, you know, sci-fi fans, or maybe not sci-fi fans at all, I said, you know what, um, I've seen the movie in, in theaters, you're going to be completely fine, you won't be lost, you know, I mean, everyone knows who Darth Vader is, whether you've seen the movies or not, so you'll, you'll enjoy the movies just fine, even though you've never seen the ones that came before. And in a way, I think that's true maybe about games, maybe I've talked myself into it here. You don't necessarily have to play the games that led up to any particular game. Oops. Um, you can still get a lot of enjoyment out of sort of the modern remakes. Hold on. I'm really like thinking here. Oh, oh that. My timing is just off. Um, I mean, me being a purist, I do definitely like to play the games that come before another game before I get to that that game. But that's just me. Um, I think I will play the original Punch-Out at some point. Just for fun. You know, I haven't been playing hardly any games on my Off the Book series recently because it's just been so pressed for time, it's been hard to have enough time to actually just play these games. So, um, you know, I definitely want to be putting out two of these videos a week, and that's what I've been doing. Um, and off the book is kind of suffer. Hopefully in the summer I'll have more time and be able to play some more games that are not in the book. Because that book, A Thousand One Games You Must Play Before You Die, has a lot of gems, but it has a lot of, like, questionable choices. I don't know. Um, it definitely is my quest to work my way through this book. But uh, Is it the be-all, end-all list of games you have to play in your day? No. Um, is it a fun, interesting list you should look at? Yes, I would say so. All right. Do you think we can beat Cuba? The ultimate battle, America versus Cuba. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're in a lot of trouble already. Oh! Gotta wait for him to make a mistake. Oh, we're in trouble now. How are you supposed to dodge this? I like can't move fast enough. Oh, you can, like, block. And I'm dead. <laughs> One, two, three. You know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, I, I was I was gonna say, I'm just gonna let myself go down here. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this guy. I just, I just don't have it in me. I don't have the fight in me, guys. Oh, that was working out quite well for me. The problem is, as soon as that hurricane crap comes, it's like game over for Jay. Ah, oh, I think I used my super punch on him too, and it didn't even do anything. Hmm. Has anyone ever actually boxed? I, w I would be very curious to know what real boxing is like. 
In my own opinion, boxing would be scary as hell. <laughs> I am not a fighter. Um, I don't box. I have no idea how realistic this game is in terms of boxing. You know, are Cubans really the best boxers? I am the worst person to ask about that. Apparently France and Canada aren't, aren't anything to, uh, to worry about. Like Cuba! You got some powerful combos there, my friend. Powerful combos. Okay, we're gonna reset here. Alright. Let's try one more quick match. We're gonna do a show match. We're gonna push it to the limit. As the 80s song implies. Okay, we're gonna continue here. Gonna continue with good old Jay. We're gonna go into championship mode. Oh, but we can't go to the world circuit. Darn. Okay, you know what? I think that's actually a good sign that we should call it because I'm not gonna get past that Cuba guy, and I feel like it's gonna get too repetitive to just watch me try. I wish I could have done a little better in this game, but I'm not totally surprised. The pros of this game are that it has a really tight control scheme. It does have a fun gameplay loop. I could totally see if you do start to learn the patterns, this would be a really fun game and a really good test of skill. So definitely, I think Punch-Out, and even the original NES Punch-Out, which I think I was a little better at, um, and had simpler pattern things going on. Um, the controls and the gameplay are really great. And one thing you really have to credit Nintendo with is giving a lot of characterization um, to the characters, to making them interesting. In fact, I would almost argue that I think the original NES game did better than this one, because Little Mac was so little and the opponents he fought were so exaggerated. I mean, the opponents were still exaggerated here, but Little Mac, he kind of, he kind of felt more bland now. He was just some dude. I didn't really get the sense he was actually that little. Um, and we lost his trainer in the, the cool cutscenes with the, the bike. So yeah, it this game definitely is a fun game. Um, its cons are that, I mean, you can see by the third fight, once that massive pattern breaks out of nowhere, I mean, I felt like I didn't have a build-up to that. I didn't have the skills to deal with it. As not a very great boxer, what was I supposed to do? So, yeah, um, this game has its pros, has its cons. Um, if it looks interesting to you, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, it's definitely a fun game that you can feel yourself getting better at as you play. Um, it will take a lot of practice, though. There's no ifs, ands, or buts around it. I mean, even Gabby J here is, uh, you know, no walk in the park. I mean, this guy, he fights with the, f the fever of Roosevelt. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, you, you jerk. I'm not backing off. He's going down. We're taking this guy down, man. He's not getting a single punch in. Come on, come on. Go back to your grandkids. Tell them I say hi to the old folks home, Pops. Look at that, we destroyed him. Stay down, stay down. Ugh. I wonder what it would take to get like a, uh, um, just like totally knock someone down and like, like one round of punches and have them like just not get up at all. Oh, come on, just, just die already. I'm, I'm not blocking, blocking is for sissies. Come on, go down! I'm not blocking, I swear! <laughs> I didn't block, I didn't dodge at all. That's what you can get if you apply yourselves, kiddos. Oh, and he got right back up. Okay, well, I'm not even gonna continue playing this. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, <laughs> give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. Hopefully one I'm a little better at. Um, until then, take care of yourselves. Alright, peace.